In Psalm 1, we have these familiar words, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but here's his delight. It's in the law of the Lord, and he meditates in it day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. His leaf will not wither, and everything he does shall prosper. Verse 3 of Psalm 1 is a great image. It's a powerful metaphor. It's not about my job or fame or stuff. It has to do with, well, really about our heart, our soul, our lives. Being planted as a person in truth, being faithful, being fruitful, really being healthy. Well, the passage puts it this way, being blessed. There's another Psalm, Psalm 92, that talks about the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. They shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord, it says, shall flourish in the courts of our God. They'll continue to bear fruit. That's what flourish means. Once again, the passage speaks to our, our spiritual life, the heart being planted in the house of the Lord. What, what a great image, what a great picture. How does it happen? How do we become the righteous and flourish and be blessed and produce fruit? Well, by knowing and following and trusting in the one who makes us righteous, because we can't make ourselves righteous. We follow Jesus and he makes us righteous. We're righteous and flourish and can be planted because of him. As we truly follow him, our lives reflect these qualities, these characteristics mentioned in Psalms 1 and 92. Follow Jesus, it's kind of simple get to know him and you will flourish. You'll be planted, you'll bear fruit. That's what the scripture says. We follow him. He makes us righteous and we flourish.